we'll uh, continue our discussion about uh, approaches to curriculum or uh, and we'll continue exploring some of the important models and as you know in our previous module we have talked about you know um, nation and McAllister model of language curriculum design and we, then we also saw uh, we looked at Kathleen Graves uh, model uh, of uh, you know course design right we found out the similarities and differences in both these models now we're gonna see what elements are involved while doing curriculum design um, in this connection it's important to mention uh, that for example if you are not designing the curriculum but you are running the curriculum you are implementing the curriculum you might be having some constraints and on the other hand you have done the curriculum and someone else is running it or implementing it and the other person might be experiencing some constraints or problems so while doing curriculum design we need to be cautious about some some of its implications i mean pedagogical or practical implications let's begin uh, with you know the basics now as you know language curriculum design has its systematic uh, you know a way we begin with uh, needs analysis identifying the needs of the learners their wants strengths weaknesses wants and necessities and then we move on environment analysis identifying the contextual factors the administration teachers uh, social cultural factors then we plan the goals or set up the goals for a course and decide about its learning outcomes then we move on uh, you know the principles uh, which principles of language teaching uh, need to be employed uh, whether you need to be an eclectic sort of teacher or you know task based language sort of teacher uh, then comes syllabus design we've got various types of syllabus notional grammatical structural uh, functional syllabus right and we oh, then we got you know instructional materials and their role for language curriculum design i mean how they offer the linguistic input for the learners and how we provide quality teaching for uh, to uh, to the institute the mission and vision of the uh, institute right and the evaluation what sort of evaluation in terms of monitoring the success of the course right and uh, you know in this regard it's important to understand here that much of uh, uh, as you might remember in the in the in uh, in one of the you know earlier modules in the beginning i emphasized that the main focus of our course is to see language curriculum design as a cyclical process not a linear process i mean uh, the uh, ele these elements we can we could begin at at several places instead of you know having done thoroughly needs analysis instead of having done thoroughly environment analysis and having decided the goals of the course so uh, that's uh, actually the main emphasis of this course that we see it as a cyclical process one step of the curriculum design overlaps with the other and uh, because it's it's uh, we have to make some informed judgments uh, for example if we have done the needs analysis and in environment analysis and planned the goals and the principles but we might be struggling with the uh, syllabus design because we need to produce the syllabus which is uh, compatible to the needs uh, the environment and, uh, the, and the instructional materials right so while doing uh, curriculum uh, design we need to be aware of you know some constraints i mean the constraint of time the constraint of uh, you know um, uh, culture or um, economy right um, for example if a teacher is involved in doing uh, you know needs analysis so 
If a teacher, for example, goes to the classroom and they have not been provided curriculum framework, so they need, they might be, you know, sort of doing some needs analysis and deciding about the content format and presentation and might be revising the decisions. Um, you know, uh, uh, doing curriculum uh, uh, by the teachers it could be a challenging task because they have uh, limited time. And if that has already been done, done for us, it might be easier for us uh, and we could uh, quickly think about the goals, the instructional materials. And, um, you know, while doing analysis, another constraint is, for example, if uh, 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 that's, the, that's the unknown environment, I mean, uh, if, for example, you have done the uh, curriculum design and it's been uh, undertaken by another teacher, so the other teacher might be operating uh, that curriculum or uh, in, a, in a different setting and that might be uh, problematic. So uh, we, we got some starting points here, right? So while doing uh, curriculum design, we need to uh, be aware of where to begin and what processes, what steps we need to take up and which, in which direction to move on, whether really we need to start with the needs analysis or we could start with the planning goals. And I personally believe that, um, and that's the main emphasis of this course, that sees language curriculum design as a cyclical process because uh, um, it gives a bit flexibility for the curriculum designers uh, and it, it might be, you know, easier for them to think about different topics and bring in uh, information and design the curriculum document.